I've not fished the Warwickshire Avon this far up there, and it's a beautiful stretch of river, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. I've been here uh, a few times this year, caught some beautiful fish, a lot of fish, what I catch, sort of match size fish. What do but, you call match size? You know, three, four pound chub barbel to Oh, that's still say, good fishing, isn't it? Seven. I've had, I had an eight pound barbel out of here. But oh, that's nice. The double keeps eluding me. Um, you know, mm. I'm probably fishing more match style than uh, I should be on a venue like this. I'm normally lucky charm for other anglers when I'm bob. <laughs> Keith's had a double with me, Ian Welch had a 14, so you never know, it might rub off. That would be nice. Oh, yeah, it'd be lovely. And I suppose in the summer you can see the bottom here. Yeah, it's all gravel, it's a beautiful... You can read it quite yeah, well, can't you? Beautiful natural river, and you can see a lot of the fishing. And these the boils I can see, they're the reed beds under the water, That's yeah? right, it's full of um, like eelgrass in, yeah, in the summer, yeah. you can see it. You can see the fish meandering in and out of it as well, it's beautiful. Oh, lovely. There's so many swims, it's hard to know where to start, but come on, let's have a look at your gear. I'm interested to see your matchman's gear. Right, OK. <laughs> right, now I know you matchmen aren't as sneaky as specimen anglers, so come on, let's have a look at your rig. Well, you see there's no pole today. Yeah, I We've thought you to... were the pole doctor. <laughs> I was surprised about that. Got a one and three quarter pound barbel rod. Yeah, that's uh, what I use, one and three quarter. Which is... But uh, mine hasn't got my name on it, oh, that's no, posh. Right, you see. <laughs> no, it's caught a few fish on it, it feels Yeah, feels lovely looking right. rod. Um, and ten pound main line. And what you I've got... You sneak! <laughs> <laughs> I've been out-specied here. Well, it's, it's... Oh, that is very sneaky. It's probably a bit more specimen orientated than i you've even used camoed to, your lead. But it's probably a lot more crude than you've got, so hopefully. Oh, I we'll don't work. know about that. No, that but looks spot basically on. Basically, I've got a, a safety clip, uh, camoed lead, and I've got some uh, silkworm, 12 pound silkworm. Yeah. Tied to base, basically single halibut pellet, size 8 hook. And have you got that lassoed on there lassoed so you can on, change yeah. it? It's some, like a slip knot. Something I use um, in, you know, in, in match fishing a lot for yeah. um, tying pellets. And if on. chub or barbel and knocking that, you don't find it comes off? Um, no, not really. Oh, but good. What, what I find is that goes in the water and the, the, the pellet will just expand. slightly expand and it yeah. just really fixes it in position. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, that's good. I don't know what you think to that. Well, it looks <laughs> spot on to me. I'd be quite happy to cast that out. Yeah, you give me your rod and reel, I'll cast that light out, no problem. I've got 12 pound main line. I used to use 10 in the summer, 12 yeah. in the winter, and I think, oh, why risk it? You know, when the fish I want comes along. Yeah. I've got, a, I can out sneak you on oh, the lead. Look nicer. at that. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that at home, but that's a little mussel shell. Fantastic. Camoed, Very camouflaged. quite heavy. And I've just been experimenting with this. Look, it's nice, isn't it? A little Paternoster rig. That's the shell is running. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. running. I like a running. I like all the little indications from the chublets and the little dace and that. I like to know everything that's going on. Right. Um, just that's a buffer bead, safety bead to protect the swivel, ring swivel. And as I say, I think when you've got a bit more flow on, that'll help me keep position a bit yeah. better, my normal running lead. Yeah. And then I've got strip tees, slightly shorter hook length than yours. Yeah. But with ellipse two of my favourite ellipse pellets. Yeah. Barbel, Fantastic. absolutely love them. Yeah. Size 8 hook. Um, a nice super glue mine, which is a bit more fiddly than yours, but they stay on. I could catch several barbel on that rig. So it all sounds good in theory, we better go and put it in practice, okay. but if you want to swap rods, I'll be more than happy. Right, well we've fed some stuff just down here, some yep. hemp and a few pellets. I'm just going to try and drop it in. It's a lovely flat run yeah. there, isn't it? Just drop it in gently. and Down there, you see it's not very deep at all. Nicely yeah. done. So how long would you give it in one swim then, Nigel? You know, presuming you've put, you've, you've fed the swim, we've, we've dropped the lead in over the bait. How long would you anticipate? If it's a small, quite intimate swim, I'd expect to catch within 20 minutes. Yeah. And you know, if I haven't had a pull within 20 minutes or certainly indications that suggest I'm going to get one, I'd move and try another swim thinking they're not there. Yeah. I suppose it's, it's really strange for you, the ability to be able to fish eight swims in a day. You're used to having to sit in one peg and absolutely milk the best out of it that you can. That might Ooh. be a barbel. I think that's a barbel. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good bite, wasn't it? That was the bite you won. Yeah. Oh, it's come off. <laughs> oh, no. It was a big chub. <laughs> was it a chub? Yeah, it was a big chub. 
Well, let's yeah. hope he hasn't spooked the swim. That might be a barbel as well, Darren. Oh no, no, that could be a, could have turned into a chub. It's a chub because it was a bit too long developing to be a barbel, wasn't it? Oh, it's a little barbel. Is it a small barbel? Yeah. He's having a dink, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, listen to that drag. Yeah, it's in it. Oh. Only a little one. Can you see here? That probably was 15, 20 minutes, wasn't it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, if that's a little one, I'd like to catch one of your doubles. They pull a bit, don't they? Yeah, they do. Come on, mister. There you go. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Darren. Welcome. It's not often I get an angler of your calibre doing the netting for me. Thank you very much, sir. That is gorgeous. Pristine barbel. Oh, Absolutely yeah. Pristine. Look. Nice one. Another added advantage with the rod tip you're using as well is you, you get a better bite on your finger as well, don't yeah. you? Oh, you often feel it on your finger without seeing anything on the rod top. Yeah. You don't feel it like that, do you? No. Oh. You know, and what do you then do? Whee! That looks a bigger one. Yeah. Go on, Darren. Come Ooh. on down, birthday boy. I'm going to get mine out of the way, Darren. Now again, how long had that been in? Five minutes? Yeah, not long. This is a big fish. I like carp fishing. I like being in a bivvy in your sleeping bag, here in the buzzer and getting out your sleeping bag. But you can't be holding the rod, feeling no. the bite. That's right. Oh, this is a nice fish. Oh, it's lovely, Darren. Look at that. This line's twisted over. I think it is wrapped round it because you've got quite a long hook link. Yeah, it is wrapped round it. Looks it looks like it's foul hook, but it's not. It's just wrapped round. But that's a cracking fish, and I'm going to net him all the same. We don't <coughs> mind lassoing him at the death. <laughs> Darren, that is a clonker. Yeah, that's a nice fish. We better weigh that, mate. Right, you ready, birthday boy? Set of candles, you tell me what that says. <laughs> Nine ten. Nine ten. Oh dear. <laughs> well, we try for a double. Bittersweet. We've still got time for one, mate. Congratulations. Do me. That's my best it's ever. It's a PB. Problem. You can't do any better than that. That's a clonker, isn't it? First go back in this peg. <laughs> that was great. I love it. I told Darren it would only take fifteen or twenty minutes to catch one. And you did right. I didn't cast out. <laughs> Not a bad fish again. Oh, that's Ooh. lovely. Nice fish. Oh, you need a bigger net, mate. <laughs> I'm not used to catching this size, you know. <laughs> nice one. Well done. Look at that for the birthday, boy. Perfect end to a lovely day. Thank you very much. Who needs expensive presents? <laughs> Forecast three fish. That's right. Yeah, fantastic.